This is the Smart Board Revolution Global Virtual User Group Special Edition, the Smart Survival Guides. I'm uh, your host, Matt Granger, and this lesson is teaching your first lesson. So what do you do? You pick up your pen, and here's a secret now. Here's what you do. Teach. You've been using ch chalkboards. You've been using whiteboards. You've been using an overhead projector. You know how to teach. Or this is your first job, you've learned what to do, you go in there, you pick up the pen, and you start teaching. I know this isn't the most popular advice, but this is, the smart board is an interactive whiteboard after all. So pick up a pen and just write. Teach the lesson the way that you would teach it. Can a smart board be used for so much more? Can a smart notebook do so much more? Absolutely. But your first day, you get in there, you don't know what to do, you pick up the pen, and you teach. So let's say your first lesson, and you have to uh, distinguish between nouns and verbs. So you write that up on the board and you ask students to come up and either write or you're writing them yourself. It's great to get the students up there and get them used to writing on it too. So student comes up and writes Oops. Sorry. Cat. And puts the pen down. And remember that important arrow it turns back into the selection arrow so maybe you come up here and you yeah I uh, didn't recognize the word cat because I it didn't go in order so I can just I can double click in there I can go back to the uh, computer if I need to and edit it and now we can ask the student okay so is cat a noun or a verb and have them decide and then you put it over here great you do now you wouldn't be able to move that around and have the students come up and move them on a chalkboard whiteboard or overhead projector now you can do that but it all starts with just picking up your pen and writing and then maybe you write the next one so you pick up your pen again and you write run put your pen down you get your arrow, you can select it, recognize the text if you wish, and then ask the students, all right, so is it a noun or a verb? And they talk about it, they discuss, and you have a student come up and put it under verb, and you ask them why, and they explain it. That's what you do. So how do you teach your first lesson? You pick up the pen and you write. You create a new page. And you continue with your lesson. You write some more. You pick up your pen, whatever. You write more text. Right. You do whatever you do. You draw a picture of whatever you're doing. This is obviously not nouns and verbs now, but you're doing right, your uh, math, and now you're talking about fractions, and you pick up the pen. Sure, could you have done this a different way? Yes, you could have selected... The, uh, the sh shape tool and created a circle and then gone in and drawn your lines. But what if you didn't know that that tool was there? You just pick up the pen and write and do it. Then when you're done, you want to save this lesson because you can go back later and add to it and say, okay, hey, you know what? I learned that instead of drawing the circle, I could actually use this. So you go in and you create the circle for the next year or the next time you use this lesson. right? So as you learn, this lesson and all the pages that go with it become a, a skeleton, if you will, of your lesson. Then as you learn new smart techniques and new tools that you can use, then you can start cleaning up that lesson and making it better and more interactive. But when you walk in and you don't know what to do, pick up the pen and write.
that's my best tip and my secret for teaching your first lesson just use it save the file and then you can come back and clean it up as you learn new techniques for the following years join us we have a monthly spurg vug smart board revolution global virtual user group meeting somewhere around the first of each month uh, you can go to smartboardrevolution.ning.com see here it's another thing you'll learn eventually and then you can you learn about your highlighting and so as you pick up these new techniques and things and try things out, then you just go ahead and add those to your repertoire. So you can go to the smartboardrevolution.ning.com for more information about when the meetings are. And there's also a link there at the top of the page for all of our past meeting uh, links, recordings, so you can watch those as well. A lot of great training goes on on those. So... I hope this is helpful. Just remember, pick up the pen and write. Uh, watch for another lesson, which will show you where you can find some pre-created lessons. So that will also help you.